Hi, right, kids. 31 Days of Horror continues with this, probably, without a doubt, honestly, uh, the best horror film I've seen this year. It's definitely going to be on top. I don't think anything else will push it off. And I, I've enjoyed quite a few. I, uh, even horror comedies were up there. and uh, Well, this one pushed them down. Uh, it is from a director named Scott Cooper. Scott Cooper uh, previously did a movie uh, western called Hostels. If you did have not seen this movie, seek it out. It's excellent. Uh, he co-wrote it. I'm not going to go into the, uh, <laughs> uh, the other writers. Well, we what well, well, we have is an uh, uh, once mining town in Oregon. Uh, the mine is closed. The the area is depressed, uh, and some people have uh, turned to cooking meth to get by. Obviously. Uh, so, two um, men look into uh, the tunnels uh, under a mine, or a mine, the tunnels of a mine, mine to uh, set up shop, and they quickly find out there's another uh, residence in in the tunnels. Uh, then we skip up a few weeks. And uh, what we have is uh, Carrie Russell playing Julia, uh, who has a brother uh, played by uh, Jesse. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, Pelons. Uh, uh, he was on Breaking Bad. Yeah, he was that nutbag that killed the kid. Uh, and. Uh, well, Carrie is a, a struggling, uh, recovering alcoholic, and uh, she has she's dealing with uh, past abuse that happened in the in this town. She had come back from uh, California. She'd been away, and she's living with uh, her uh, brother Paul, the sheriff. Uh, there's a boy. Uh, now let let me get back to the uh, two men at the mine. Uh, one of the men ha uh, brought his youngest son with him, uh, and uh, something happens. We don't know what uh, happens to anybody really. <laughs> uh, so uh, we meet Lucas, who uh, is played by Jeremy T. Thomas, very good uh, child act actor. Uh, he's picked on at school. Uh, he's very scrawny, and uh, his posture is terrible. He's hunched over all the time, very depressed. Uh, Julia, Carrie uh, Russell's character, uh, sees sign of abuse, uh, but with the boy, uh, his home life is if he uh, sees a critter on the way home, like a skunk, he will kill it or uh, pick up a, a half-eaten uh, other critter <laughs> uh, and bring it home. Because he has to tend to uh, something or someone behind this door, which is bolted, bolted on the outside of the door, not the inside. The uh, uh, door leads to the attic, and that's where uh, the heavy-duty shit. It, you know, lit resides at, for now. Uh, I gotta tell you, uh, it it's really really good, right from the start. And then there's this one point where you say, <laughs> "Just fuck yeah," 
it's just like this is a, this is just fantastic it just and it's a burst i mean it it, it there's a build up but then it just bursts into you know probably one of the best monster movies that i've seen in a long time oh just uh, uh this is actually i think uh a uh, production from uh uh, Guillermo del Toro and this is honestly uh, this is the best thing out, outside his own work that you know his his uh, you know production company has has made Th this is fantastic work right here absolutely fantastic uh, uh, that's the best I can do <laughs> for this movie I don't want to uh, give too much away but it is an excellent film, and uh, Carrie Russell is a, is a great horror uh, actress. I mean, uh, I also liked her in Dark Skies, that alien abduction uh, uh, horror flick from a few years ago. Uh, Blumhouse, I think, uh, made it. Well, that's it for now. Uh, as usual, stay safe. Always have a good time. Bye now.